Ladies and gentlemen, the Carry Strike Group 1. I'm going to be going over a quick tutorial for OBGME and the new way that we're going to be using mods using their repository, which should hopefully streamline the mod update and the mod downloading process. So, first things first, if you don't already have OG OVGME and you are using JSGME, you will need to switch over to OVGME. OV Generic Mods Enabler is the name of that mod. Uh, if you don't already have it downloaded, go ahead and Google it uh, or find it on the ED forms and get your download. When you do download it, make sure you get the correct setup. I've already got mine downloaded ready to go for us. And you get it installed and run it. So I've already got OVGME on my computer. This one is already set up. Uh, so for instructional purposes, I'm going to show you as if I were creating a new configuration. So in this screen, uh, you're going to be seeing a configuration root folder and a configuration mods folder, as well as a configuration title. Configuration title is just whatever you're going to call this profile for OBGME. Uh, the configuration root folder, that is going to be where OBGME installs your mods to. Our mods install to the saved games folder of your DCS. Now it's important for some of you, uh, under your Eagle Dynamics uh, folder, you have a DCS World open beta, or you might have a DCS World. If you are using DCS World open beta, and you also have a DCS World save games folder, uh, or a uh, dir common directory, make sure that you're using the, the one that we are actually on. Currently, we're using open beta, so in your save games folder, you would want to use the DCS World open beta. In the DCS Eagle Dynamics directory, you would may also make uh, DCS World open beta. And here's an example of mine where I still have a saved games folder from DCS. Now your configuration mods folder. This is any folder on your computer where you install the downloaded mods to. Essentially, it's just a folder somewhere where you, you use them. You, all your stock is kept. Uh, so it doesn't really matter where it's been. Some folks put it in their actual DCS and directory, which I don't recommend. Some folks put it in their saved games uh, folder, uh, which is easy to find because it's, everything is together. Uh, me personally, I just keep a folder in my downloads folder. And once you're done, you hit create. Now, for you, this will work. For me, I already have a configuration of this folder, so it's giving me error. Uh, you shouldn't have any issues when you create that. Now, once you get your setup, this should be blank. Uh, you won't have any mods installed through OVGME. We're going to use the mod repository to uh, uh, download our mods now. So, you're going to go up to mods repository, and configure. This on yours will be blank uh, if you don't have any repository set up. But essentially, we're going to type a URL in here. The URL is the same one displayed on the screen that I've already got added. It's going to be http colon forward slash forward slash www.csg1modpack.net forward slash csg one repo.xml
once you uh, have it all typed in, hit add, it'll pop down in the box below, and you're done. Now to update your mod, uh, it's not going to be downloaded yet. You'll have to go to mods, repositories, and query. You want to ask if all of your mods are up to date. So I've already downloaded the uh, draft mod pack, um, and it's up to date. So it's going to tell me that the repository check is complete. Uh, there's zero repositories that failed, and this is what it found. It found CSG1 mod pack version 1.3.1, .1, and the little green check mark means that it's up to date. Um, if it's a red X or if it's orange or something like that, that means that it found it and it's either not up to date or you don't have it installed at all. So all you have to do is click on it and hit download selected or download all. If it's an update, it will delete the old mod pack off the computer and download the new one. If you don't have it at all, it'll just download the new one. And then uh, we'll be putting our change logs into the description down here so you can see what changed if there's a change. Uh, that screen will stay up when you hit download all, and it will download to your computer, into the mod packs, or into the, uh, your mod directory folder. Now when you're ready to actually install it, uh, you install it just like any other OBGME. You click on it, and click enable selected. It will run for a second, and uh, after it's done running, it will um, be installed and ready to run. Hit disable and pull it off your computer. Typically, enabling can take several minutes depending on your hardware setup and how large the mod is. Now, there's one thing I did not go over here uh, because I have everything set up online already. It is the snapshot. Before you install anything, you want to run a snapshot. What this is going to do is look at the uh, directory that you were telling it to install the mods and it's going to memorize everything in that directory so it knows what not to take out when you deactivate mod. Essentially you're just going to hit config, snapshot, and new and that will uh, take a snapshot of that uh, profile where it's supposed to install. You want to do that before you install any mods. If you've already installed some mods just deactivate the mod and uh, run the snapshot.